a super quick trick for embedding fonts in your PDF. Um, and now this is for Amazon KDP um, because you'll work so hard on a design. Um, so let me show you mine. I worked really hard on this design. I got everything to match. I don't have any, uh, any widows or orphans. Um, but when I export it into KDP, um, it's not right. So my font, my, all my design is wrong. Uh, my font is wrong. And these, here's a little end glyph, which I want at the bottom of every page in a section. And it's still, and instead, it's on a blank page on its own separate spot, right? Um, it has nothing, it, it, the layout is just not working. It's not what I created at all. So you can see the fix, the issue that you might be having. Um, this one is saying my hyperlinks don't work. That's just the table of contents. But this one is saying the font doesn't work. Um, now, there's a link about this, and, um, well, let me just click on it here, um, but it's essentially, um, it's not very helpful. I don't think these commands are even in Word, um, so I'm not sure what program these commands even, even go to, so I don't know. So I'm going to show you, when working on KDP, the simplest possible way to embed a font. All right, so back to the manuscript. Um, now you're creating a PDF document and you can just save this and save as a PDF. Um, you can, no, I, I feel that there is a way in Word to embed a font, but I honestly have no idea what it is. I could not, I, I cannot figure it out. Um, so what I do instead is I do this little shortcut and, um, I just print the document. Now, instead of sending it to a printer, um, I go down here and I save it as a PDF. And by using the printer interface to save a PDF, using the printer interface to generate a PDF, that printer needs all the information, everything complete, just exactly as you see it. So the font is automatically embedded. Um, cool. So uh, let me show you the difference between those two. Um, so this is the font that I chose. My end glyph is in the right place for all the pages. And this is when I just save as PDF, I get garbage, right? So, um, so that is how you do it. Just use the print option when you're working on an Amazon KDP file, just print from Word instead of saving. And then you can use all of your fonts. Um, now, what's the purpose of this? Like, why do fonts not embed? You know, isn't it obvious that all fonts should be embedded in the document? Like, why why should we even struggle with that? And it's to protect, you know, typographers from, like, you must have a license for the font in order to be able to use it. So, um, if you don't own a valid copy of the font, then it won't, uh, then you have to prove that you own it basically by embedding it. Uh, but for the life of me, I can't find the embed window anywhere in Word, and I do own this font, and so I just kind of shortcut it by, um, by printing instead of, instead of hunting around for um, that embed uh, that embed menu, which it must be there somewhere. So that's all I have for you today. Um, but this will save you, uh, just a ton of time, especially if you spend hours and hours on a word document and then you are banging your head against the wall with the Amazon KDP preview. Um, so I hope that helps. I hope you like it and, uh, happy publishing.